I couldn't wait. I started thinking about all the wonderful times we've had together. And I realized you're the woman I love. Not Gwen. Are you serious? You mean it? With all my heart. Teresa, I hope you're not thinking of some new scheme to try to take Ethan away from Gwen. No, Mama. I know my dream of marrying Ethan is dead. But it's hard for me. I never realized how much of my life was about Ethan until he was suddenly gone from me. I can't even practice writing my name as Stephen Crane anymore. It's for the best, mi niña. You fantasized about something that could never be. I know. I've lost my dream of a life with Ethan. And now I have to learn to live without him. I'm going to miss you so much, Ethan. But it could have been even worse. Luis could have found out who I was in love with. He would have been so furious if he had known I was working at the Crane Mansion and, and doing everything I could to make you fall in love with me. Teresa! Please. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Louise, I am... Um... <laughs> you know, I just... I can't believe that there is no ice cream in this room. No ice cream? Yeah, I thought girls always picked out on ice cream when they were nursing a broken heart, you know? <laughs> really? Well, I thought guys always cried in their beer over women, not hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess uh, we'll both just have to settle for Mama's famous hot chocolate. How about a toast? To ice cream, beer, and hot chocolate. The soothers of broken hearts. <laughs> By the way, I'm sorry. For what? Just for not being here for you lately. That's okay, Louise. So, tell me about this guy. You know, I don't even know his name. No, it doesn't matter, Louise. You know, I don't want to think about him anymore. Good idea. Okay. <laughs> Same thing I'm trying to do. What happened to you and Sheridan? I don't know. You know, I've always believed that if something was meant to be, it would happen. You know, sometimes you meet people and you have this chemistry and you think, hey, maybe they're the one. And then something happens and you realize that it wasn't real, that, that it was just a dream. That it wasn't meant to be. Are you sure there's no chance that you and Sheridan can get together? <laughs> no. <laughs> no chance. But I saw the way you looked at each other. The way you danced together. I was sure there was something going on. Yeah. So did I. But I saw exactly the way Sheridan feels about me tonight. I went over to her cottage to ask why she'd suddenly turned against me and... I saw her inside. She was holding the plaque that I'd had made for her. Well, that's a good sign. She threw it against the wall. Uh, that's... that's not a good sign. No. I'm sorry, Lise. Didn't work out. 
Baby, you know, but, uh, look, I've always said everything happens for a reason. And, and the same goes with what happened to you. I'm not sure what reason that could be. Well, maybe there's someone else out there who we're meant to be with. And, uh, now we'll be available when that right person comes along. Do you really believe that? If there's anything else you want to talk about, anything, you know that I'm here for you. I promise. Thanks, Lisa. Right? Well, it's more of that hot chocolate. Sure. Right. Why not? <laughs> Thanks. I guess Luis is right. My love for Ethan. It wasn't meant to be. I can't even dream about it.